You just got the whole map with you? Um, I put them back. Let's go.
slam. Yes, cancel. Mage down. Seventy-five. Fifty. <laughs> Twenty-five. I'm just not respawning here. We're killing everything with this. Lightning. Lightning. <laughs> I'm rising. First two up should always save these gather robots, I think. Yeah, this is good. Let's just rage. Rage. For a nice clean lock. Use some skills. One more skill. Let's get it. Nice and clean.
drop silence on this side, okay? Stay over here. Close enough. Watch out for aggro, careful. We need bridges now. Add one. I'll do the other. Add. Watch out, slap. Thank you. Fist, fist, fist. Add curry. Add. Add. I'm moving in breath. Breath. Yep. It's uh, He's facing as well. potentially because orb's gonna come. Yep, orbs, and I need the bridge. Nice, you got it. Wave, 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 wave. Fist. Just get destroyed, be careful, random macro. Yep, just kill it. Nice. Ooh, good. baby. Jesus that was a good Christ. Good, good job, team. That's what we wanted. Yeah, that was also like a two minute kill. Very good. Yep. We're back. Taking records. G fucking G. 69,000. <laughs> nice. Nice. How we do it? Well, another time, but <laughs> without the names. Yeah, time seems no problem without the names. Yeah, we, if we had skipped the name there, we would have still had the time, uh, the score. Yeah. Yo, gear and build breakdown for the Glacial Tarn setup. Standard light armor rapier set is a full set of refreshing health enchanter board with a nimble coat, no artifacts, jewelry, and a finisher with kidney empowered. Keen wishes, pile and burst on the ice gauntlet, and basic special gloves are of the Savage Divide replicas that I kept rolling with Leeching Flurry until I got lucky. Took me like 25 tries, quite a lot of value from it. And then in the middle of the run, I switched to a fire staff setup with enchanter board and health, fully refreshing, and like three pieces of fire harnessing. Yeah, and then Fireball and Meteor Shower. I used the Deep Freeze Ice Gauntlet and I put Pylon Burst on it for the Pylon Burst damage, because as far as I know, the interaction with an Ending Thaw is not the best one, so I'd rather just get a an Ending Thaw piece for the armor if I so want to. Keen Vicious Pillar of Fire, Fire Staff, Godsend, Waterlogged Ring, Leeching Hardy Keen Awareness. I prefer this with Intelligence over the heart Ace of Rings, because the, I don't have to fuck around to Magnify. Still no Artifact Jewelry, still using the Nimble Coats. And then for the boss fights, I have switched to a not completely optimized medium set, with just the same as the previous one with health and center ward, and one piece of slash conditioning, I think? Yeah. One piece of slash conditioning, because that is usually the most common damage type of bosses where you feel the need to go medium, like Thorpe, the last guy in uh, Starstone, the last guy here in Glacial Tarns, and Marius. So effectively, this set is giving me a buff to like 80% fortify overall, compared to just being a light armor, and I can use the same stuff stat-wise in between the sets. Oh, uh, whoops. Mostly optimized for the rapier, and I get 25 focus to get the cooldown reduction, and then 350 intelligence and whatever else I can afford into dexterity. I would be at 240 dexterity if I had full 700. For the fire stuff setup, I have mostly intelligence and the opal passive for the dexterity, and Whilst this isn't completely optimal for the Fire Staff itself, just having this much of an optimized Fire Staff setup or Fire Staff IG or Fire Staff Abyss, whatever the fuck I want to play with, this is as good as it gets given the budget, so I don't have to respec at all and use different food buffs. This is absolutely fucking amazing. But then for the bosses, I should 
optimize a little bit more, take away one piece of magnify and put it into a dexterity item probably. Uh, otherwise, it's also as good as it gets. The most important thing is that I get the backstab bonus, the ability damage, and 25 focus. Which is why I reuse the lighter gloves to enable this weird setup. Because I need the nimble coat, I need the light gloves, or I could reroll them, but that's expensive, and as you can see, I'm a broke bastard. So medium boots, heavy pants, heavy helmet, nimble coat, and the light gloves that I have as my best and slow piece. Weapon masteries... Rapier, same as always. I've stopped playing around proper spacing as much. It's still good, and I could honestly skip this as well, but I forgot to change it because I'm lazy, apparently. Fire Staff setup. I use the 4 ability setup in speedruns. Sometimes I want to change out my Meteor Shower for Burnout, which I've done in this dungeon. And ideally I should have changed away this Meteor Shower for the Kindle passive for a little bit more damage when I used it, but it wasn't a deal breaker at this point. Ice Gauntlet, I changed my Ice Spike into Ice Storm, now that I'm using the Deep Freeze Gauntlet on the Mage set. Uh, since this, this enables the AoE effect and it's just easier to just put down Pylon Storm Shower and just go back to the Fire Staff and Pump, since it enables the damage on the Ice Gauntlet. And for the Banana Bus on the bosses, just the standard setup. I should probably consider going back to Net Shot for raw damage, but this Claw Shot is actually amazing on the bosses to get the uptime. I think I actually used it a couple of times during the run. And that's it! The gems and the ice gauntlet and the blunderbuss is probably not optimal, but I'll look into it further. In any case, enjoy!